Good Friday morning, church family. We're Good glad morning. you're with us today. We've had all the seasons this yeah. week. Tennessee weather, winter, <laughs> spring, summer, fall. Hope you're enjoying it. We're going to have summer coming up on Sunday. That's right. So that's right. We're it. looking forward to Sunday. It's going to be a great Not weekend. just for the weather, but that's for right. the worship that's as well. Right. So our Connect Hour starts yeah. at 9 a.m. So if you've not been connected, if you have been connected, mm. we look forward to seeing you yeah. Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. If you've never been connected, just come to the steeple entrance right to the Connect Center. It's right inside the door there, and we'll have somebody get mm. you to that class all the way from preschool to adults so the whole family can come together. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Immediately Wonderful. following that is our 1030 a.m. worship service. Uh, I'm excited about this week. We are starting <laughs> a brand new series. series. Yeah. A runaway prophet. Mm. How many of you are familiar with the book of Jonah? Most mm. of us are. Yeah, we, most of us, John Mark, have fish stories that we could tell. <laughs> uh, some small, some big. But I believe this is the greatest fish story yes. ever told in the world. Yes, it is. But Jonah ran from the Lord, and the Lord found him. There's so many relevant truths to our lives. So mm. we hope you'll join us in person this week for there's a price to pay. When mm. we run from the Lord, there are consequences to that yes and so we'll learn about that come sunday morning but also if you're watching online this weekend you're going to be able to see the message the last sermon in the series spirit and truth it's about when my posture is to approach god mm. and it's about a pharisee and a tax collector mm. there's also if you've got some people in your life who do not know christ this would be a great week for them to watch the message Amen. because at the end there's a talking about a works chair and a grace chair. Mm -hmm. And Jesus gave his life for us that we can get he in did. a grace chair because that's what saves us is grace through that's faith. Right. So right. we hope you'll invite some people to worship with us online this weekend. Thank you for your faithfulness and giving yes. week in and week out. Tithes and offerings make a difference. This week at Sunday in person, we're talking about Prove the Tithes Sunday, Generosity Sunday. It makes a difference. It helps us carry out ministries no in our city and around the world. So thank you for your faithfulness in giving various platforms to do that. But thank you for supporting Amen. what God is doing at First Baptist Church. John Mark, also, as we think about worship, we're getting the gospel around the world. And one of those ways is through Operation Christmas Child. Operation Christmas Child is in full swing. Yeah. I'm starting to see some boxes stacked they're, they're up. Coming up. They're coming up. That's right. So you're already bringing them back. If you've not grabbed that box, go ahead and grab it. There's an instruction uh, manual there as well to give you all the details on what to yeah, do and we got some folks. There, there's some people going to be uh, encouraged to go. You'll get more information mm. about it who are going to go to Atlanta, I think it is, and help put the mm. boxes together before they go overseas yes. with Samaritan's Purse. That's going to be a mission opportunity we're going to have. It. Some of our people will go and physically work in the plant to make that happen. So it's a great, great ministry to be able to do that. Also coming up, we've got Halloween outreach. We're not doing a truck or treat on campus this right. year, but we're doing something a little bit different in neighborhoods to reach more people. We have our Halloween bags that you can pick up from the church last Sunday. We yep. had 1,500 available. They were gone. Yeah. Every one of them are gone. gone. So we're putting new bags together. Be prepared to pick those bags up. And the idea is mm -hmm. they come 10 bags in a big bag. The idea is you put the candy in there. Yep. We've we, we've provided other information in there about the church and a gospel track is in there as well. So pass those out as mm -hmm. candy from your house. That's that right. gets the gospel to that family, to that child. And it also gives them information about the church and it gives you an opportunity mm -hmm. to have a conversation with those folks. Yeah, it could be if you're in a neighborhood where many families from First Baptist are there, you guys could partner together yes. and do that together and mm -hmm. have just a great outreach event on October the 31st in your neighborhood with maybe lots and lots of kids mm -hmm. who may be there. But another great way for us to reach out in our community as we worship God, love people, share Jesus yeah. and make disciples. Amen. Also, John Mark, something that's dear to our church, deacons. Oh, yeah. We have deacons who serve. We're serving the Lord's Supper to homebound and shut-ins here soon. Our deacons are doing that. But we need you to nominate godly men to serve as deacons. And how do they do that? They can do that in the concourse. There are several stations set up. The ballots are there. Yeah. Write the name in. Put it in the in the uh, ballot box. Uh, have those turned in through the 30th. Yeah, and we want you to sign your name to that nomination that's form right. as well. We want to make sure it's legitimate. That's right. But uh, you can got, nominate godly men, and we're going to screen those and vet those and go through that process with our deacon nominating committee. But we appreciate our deacons, mm -hmm. our partners in ministry. We could not do the ministry to our church family, There's as no large way. as our church yeah. is, without deacon involvement. So your participation is important. And you'll be able to affirm these deacon candidates on December the 11th. On Sunday, December the 11th, we'll be able to do that together as a church. But thank you for participating in that process. John Mark, on November the 16th, something that we had a wonderful time last year at is our annual Thanksgiving dinner and worship service. It's going yes. to be good. Last year we I'm had hungry. Five, I'm we hungry had 500 right folks I'm last hungry. year That's in right. the fellowship hall eating Thanksgiving Turkey dinner. Turkey dressing, all the trimmings. That's right. So we're encouraging 
encourage you to go yeah. to the website, go ahead and, and get signed up. That way we know how many's coming. Mm -hmm. uh, it's harder and harder to plan for food and those yep. kind of things these days. So it is important to make sure you get your information in. That way we know you're coming. That way we know how to prepare. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to that time. We are. If there's anybody should be thankful in church, mm -hmm. it ought to be us. We've Amen. been able to see this past year God do some incredible things yes, in our fellowship and our lives. And so we want to be thankful for our church family. It's one of those nights that all ages get to come together, Amen. have dinner together. People are going to be serving. We'll have a great meal, and then we're going to have a worship time afterward, just yes. overflowing with thanksgiving for the goodness and the grace of God mm -hmm. to us as a church and to individuals. Well, on this Friday morning, we get to worship together again, and what a great hymn of the faith, How Great Thou how Art. How Great Thou Art. This is an ener energetic version, it so is, let's yeah. turn our hearts and minds to Jesus and sing How Great He Is, How Great Thou Art, and right. we will see you folks on Sunday. Thank you. 